a, just like a lightning strike. It'd be a, a, a flash of light would come in that park and would draw my attention to it. The universe is a mysterious expanse that holds many secrets still unknown to us. One of its secrets is the existence of another advanced civilization outside Earth. But even after so many accomplishments in space exploration, scientists are still divided on whether or not intelligent life exists on another planet. However, every now and then we hear a story that compels us to believe in the possibility of alien life. One such story is that of Alec Newald, a man who claims to have been abducted by aliens and spent 10 days on their planet. Here are the incredible details of Newald's story. It was 1989, and Alec was driving to Auckland from his hometown of Rotorua on a cold February morning on a mountain road. It should have taken him three hours to reach his destination, but when he got to his last stop, he was shocked to find that he had been missing for 10 days. He couldn't believe that 10 days had gone by since he set off from Rotorua. But the more alarming part was that he couldn't remember how the days passed. The only different things after reaching his destination were the headaches, fatigue, and blurred vision he was experiencing. Other than that, he was clueless about the lost time. He got busy with his usual life until one day, suddenly, Alec told his friends and relatives that he was in a secret alien base, and the aliens told him all about their superior civilization. He also revealed that it all happened on a steep bend in the mountain. Here's what he said. I was driving a car and it felt like a ton of bricks had fallen on me. It's like someone poured cement on me. I felt as if I had been pushed or hit hard. I was paralyzed. I couldn't turn the steering wheel, apply the brakes, or do anything else. When he became conscious next, he found himself in an incomprehensible space filled with bright light. His first thought was that he had died and was witnessing his spirit traveling through the afterlife but he immediately felt alert as several unusual creatures appeared in front of him. Alec didn't know what or who they were, but he was glaringly aware of the fact that they could control his thoughts. The creatures were all very thin and had large heads with unusually narrow eyes. They didn't speak a word to him, but Alec could feel their presence in his head. The creatures led Alec along a long corridor, at the end of which he could see unusually shaped buildings. Several people have claimed to be abducted by aliens over the years, but Alec is in a different league because he asserted the aliens took him to their home planet. He assured in his statements that he saw advanced organic technology with his own eyes. According to Alec, the aliens placed him in a special machine, which took a form specially created for his body. The ETs claim that they use the same machine to create physical forms they are in on Earth. Isn't that an interesting concept? That would certainly explain how aliens could live among us without us even realizing they're there. Alec further claimed that the aliens showed him extraordinarily advanced devices that affected people's consciousness. He also mentioned the presence of spaceships that were controlled by consciousness merging with it. The ETs who abducted Alec were from a higher realm that people had not reached yet. They were similar to humans, but their technology was very different from ours. Their vibration and spirituality were related to the biological technology they possessed, and that's what allowed them to move freely in space. The alien world Alec described was unlike anything we could imagine. He talked about a unique organic technology that enabled aliens to grow whatever they wanted, from plants to animals. They could even transform their homes according to their changing needs. This alien civilization could control movement with its mind, not just its own, but the things it created. For example, the aliens could control ships mentally. In fact, he claimed that these ships were part of an organic origin. According to Alex's story, he stayed with the ETs on their planet for 10 days, giving him enough time to observe how they lived and behaved. The creatures on that planet didn't eat food like humans, but a kind of liquid comparable to monatomic gold. In most alien abduction stories that have surfaced over the years, the ETs are painted as the bad guys, but Alec's perception of the ETs who abducted him was completely different. He claimed that they were very kind to him and firmly believed in the profound consequences of kindness. They genuinely wanted to learn about Alec, humans on Earth, and the differences that existed between people. Alec's story was extraordinary and had to be told. So he contacted Nexus Magazine in 1995 to publish his book, Coevolution. He told them everything he had experienced and how he returned to Earth 10 days after staying in the shelter, the alien's home planet. As you can imagine, his story caused quite a stir, making him the center of attention and criticism everywhere. 
but he stood his ground and never changed his statements. The creators of Nexus Magazine invited Alec to tell his story during the 1996 Nexus Conference, after which several government officials and scientists showed up at his doorstep. People wanted to know more about the advanced technology the alien possessed, all the while assessing whether or not he was telling the truth. But Alec was telling his truth, and it came at a steep price. The people he had considered his friends and family began looking at him with distrust, and the more he talked about his journey to another planet, the more unbearable it became for him to live. Alec once said, I was ostracized by people from whom I expected support. In fact, after I tried to share that I was abducted by a UFO. And with anything I've learned, my life has become more than complicated. It became impossible to live as before. It's not the first time society has ridiculed someone who claimed to have been abducted by aliens. Another man in Pascagoula met with a similar fate. According to Calvin Parker's account, he and his friend Hickson were fishing from a pier on the Pascagoula River when they suddenly heard a piercing sound. At the same time, they noticed blue light reflecting off the water. Parker's first thought was that it was coming from law enforcement officers coming to tell them to leave the property. They immediately felt alert, but never expected to see a large UFO hovering above them. It was massive, almost 80 feet long with blinding light coming out of it. He described it as being football-shaped. As the craft hovered over them, it made a hissing sound. Parker claimed there were three beings on the craft and that they levitated the two men inside. He described them as having claw-like hands. Once the men were inside the spaceship, the ETs examined them with an instrument that resembled a giant eye. And after about 30 minutes, they were returned to the riverbank and the UFO took off. As you can imagine, the two men were completely shaken up and immediately approached the Keesler Air Force Base officials to report the incident. They, however, directed them to the Jackson County Sheriff's Office, where they got their statements recorded on cassette. After the news of their alien abduction became public, their lives changed forever. Parker said he changed jobs and relocated to other towns when people realized who he was. He constantly felt like others were judging him and calling his story out behind his back. However, 45 years later, when he published his first book, Pascagoula, The Closest Encounter, many others reported seeing an unusual object in the sky the night Parker was abducted. It turned out that everyone in his town was holding on to their part of the story for fear of being ridiculed. But when Parker finally decided to accept his real-life experience and share it with the world, others got the courage to do the same. However, the bigger question is, do these abductees deserve the ridicule they must fight throughout their life? Tell us what you think about Alex's abduction story in the comments below. Hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell for more videos.